Muay Thai is considered the pride of Thailand and it's the country's national sport. It dates back to ancient times where it was developed as a form of combat for soldiers and warriors. Crazy being this close, I'm watching them push the head off each other. <laughs> Definitely not with a faint heart. We have flown 700 kilometers from Bangkok to way up in the northern part of Thailand to a place called Chiang Mai, where we'll put our bodies through physical exhaustion in a bid to learn how to fight in Muay Thai. <laughs> We will be spending the next few weeks at the camp resort in Chiang Mai, where we'll be under the guidance of some of the best fighters and coaches in the country. God help us. Left upper cut, yeah, yeah, right punch. And again, 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 again. Pound. No, no, again. One, two. Oh, slip. Pound. Hoop. Pound. Oh, I can't think. Okay, yeah, yeah. But before we get into our first ever Muay Thai session, let me introduce you to our trainers who will show us exactly what we're in for. Sorry, uh, hi, my name is Pong, the trainers here. So, welcome the people come to train in the camp. So, we are the trainer to the camp. Sorry, I'm Chipap. Okay. อ่ายินดีต้อนรับมาเรียนมวยไทยกับผมที่นี่ได้นะครับเดอะแคมป์ครับยินดีต้อนรับเสมอครับผมนะครับสวัสดีครับผมโจโฉนะครับสวัสด
went and trained, but basically two, two sessions and they're 90 minutes long, so it's a tough workout, wasn't it? It's a tough workout, yeah. We're, um, it's difficult, again, as we said yesterday, it, it's like you have to really think a lot. Yeah, yeah, there's such a te technical so, aspect. To not it. only physically, but like mentally as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna seem like a baby last night, but I was tossing and turning, and you were saying then it's probably like if you're over exercising, yeah, sometimes you can some, find it sometimes difficult. Sometimes that can happen, like you feel so tired that you actually can't sleep. I know yeah. it sounds weird, but there's been a few people that we spoke to here that said that it's, it's also, the they've struggled to sleep as well. It's just kind of, I think there's a couple of uh, things that you have to experience at the beginning until you get used to it like you know so like our knuckles are quite sore and things like that so I mean that's like just the initial you know beginning of the train and like you know you kind of get rid of that as the weeks go on I guess and I say sleep might be another one of those yeah. things as well. I think you'll probably just get in yourself into a little routine your body will get used yeah, to it and yeah, um, yeah. you know the first week Danny uh, the guy that actually owns it he was saying it'll take a week probably to actually get into it and yeah. feel you know like you're getting you're getting We're properly progress, into it, yeah, 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 making progress and yeah. stuff. So just give it the week, don't give up. <laughs> and yeah, then exactly, yeah, you'll yeah. start to feel better. Yeah. So I, I guess that's the way it'll be for our sleep as well then. Yeah. We're happy with the first day. Yes. We're gonna excited. take it day by day. We're gonna take it day by day. We're excited <laughs> to see where it goes and uh, and yeah, just try to learn as much as we can and in the meantime you end up getting a great workout, so that's it's like it. it's jackpot. Yeah. Time for a nice bath. <laughs> oh my god. We're in pain, so I'm hoping this helps. I uh, I think I pulled my hamstring on the uh, on my left leg, so I found it a little bit difficult when I was training today to move that leg. So I think an ice bath will sort it out, but <laughs> it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Bag is empty. Right, so we better get in while the ice is still frozen. Trick is to just focus on the breathing. Make sure your nose out through your mouth. Forget about the fact that you're in an ice bath. Before we continue with our training, let us give you a tour of this incredible facility because we're not just training here, we're also sleeping here. So let us show you around. Okay, so this is the reception. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good? Yes. This is the lovely lady that works What's your name again? Sorry. Friend. Friend? Yeah, like a friend. Oh, friend. friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So she looks after us. <laughs> so you can see then there's some Muay Thai shorts that you can buy, some tops that you can buy, which we've already bought. <laughs> you can also rent some gloves or you can buy some gloves if you want as well. So uh, yeah, this is just the reception. So let's move on. So this is the little camp cafe. So this is where we order all of our foods. <laughs> Again, they do things like juices, some yogurts, what else do they do, some rice bowls, so, and also coffee in the morning. <laughs> now, so this is like a little garden area. And as you can see then, it's like, there's loads of rooms on top and bottom. I think there's 12 altogether on the campus. Now we're staying on the campus, but you don't actually have to stay on the campus if you want to train. You can just book in for your classes and you can stay around the area. But we'd recommend staying on the campus because that's our room right over there, number one. You can't get any closer to where we train. No so we've no excuses at all. Right, so as we continue around, this is actually gorgeous. This is the garden area. It's really, really peaceful. There's a couple of tables laid out as well. So if you've a bit of work to do, you can come out and chill out on the laptop or just chill out in the sun. There's some sun loungers there as well. We also have a place to do our laundry. <laughs> which is excellent, we yeah. can absolutely love that. <laughs> Especially when we're traveling, so we have a big washing machine and there's also a drawer. There's also a clothesline outside then if you don't want to use the drawer and you want to just hang your stuff up to dry. Our sun trap. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd be pulling them sun loungers to here <laughs> and laying out in the sun. So like I said, we're so close to the gym. We've absolutely no excuses. So let me show you our room. <laughs> So now that I've showed you the room, outside the room, everyone has these little benches. They're just really, really handy because you can just leave your gloves and uh, your hand wraps on them and then you're ready to go and train. 
price so this is where we train <laughs> look at the size though. I can't believe it that was the first thing when we got here and we looked at it I was like oh my god it's absolutely massive never trained in anything like this before it's a big open mat area so obviously doing Muay Thai you train in your bare feet and the mats are so spongy they're actually lovely it's really nice training your bare feet and then surrounded in the big mat area is uh, some boxing bags and then we also have there's four boxing rings oh that's nice now we're in the shade <laughs> that's one thing it's nice and shaded you do get a bit of sun coming mm. in because we've obviously walked around it so it's covered from the top but with the big open sides yeah, then yeah. you get a breeze coming through which is always, always lovely when you're trying especially in a hot country like thailand <laughs> there's our friend right there <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dreaded weighing scales. We have to weigh ourselves in in the morning <laughs> and track it from that. But yes, that's the dreaded part. Okay. 87.1. 87. Step heavy. It's the heaviest I've ever been. 13 stone. Seven. That's crazy. I wouldn't be used to walking around it that way. Well, we better get to work. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the boxing bags I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a water dispenser here which is great because we can just top up our bottles with fresh water it's always ice cold as well there's actually a class starting now we're doing the next class <laughs> well, there's some of the trainers they're just doing their stretching and warming up mm. and we also have a gym which is absolutely great so if we're not doing our Muay Thai we can come down and do our own little workout there's plenty of machines, dumbbells there's also some more um, boxing bags down here so and big mirrors as well so if you want to come down and sort of practice our technique because i presume we're going to be learning a lot of new things <laughs> you can sort of practice in the mirror then sometimes that's that's better to actually watch yourself doing it so again it's padded so everything is barefoot <laughs> some more machines we also have a treadmill so if you want to keep your cardio up it's also lovely as i said it's like a mountainous area so you can also go for a walk outside i think there's a park close by yeah uh, we've been told about 10 minutes so we will go up one of the days as well just to get our steps in and just keep up the exercise time to get in the ring <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> oh my god again it's so nice on your feet yeah there's something really cool about training in your bare feet i know it's, <laughs> I really it's like, like it. free you feel, feel free, free. free yeah yeah, yeah. Hey. It's deadly, isn't it? It no, is. No, honestly, it's, got, it's so cool. And it's there's four so of them. Cool. There's four of them. What's it saying up behind, right down? Mm. God, I can't believe how big it is, <laughs> honestly. When you're actually in it, it's massive. It's yeah. like the way you see it on telly. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Like, it has the camp logo. The camp. <laughs> the camp. How cool are they? And like I said, the setup here is just it's amazing. Honestly, it's just brilliant. Good. I'm warm already, I'm not gonna lie. So we just started off with some stretches and then just did a bit of a warm up. So it depends, sometimes we sort of do a circuit around the mats or sometimes we just do a bit of skipping. So we're skipping today. I need some more. Okay, more. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, mm. nice. okay. Sweet. You're okay. Now I'm sweating. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. They're like kind of uh, just like footwork drills and kind of basic kind of warm up parts like the jab and things like that. But it's funny, like because you say basic, but they are actually very difficult because yeah. there's just so much to think about. I know. Yeah. That's what it is. And then you focus on one, and then you get the other wrong. Like you're either like getting the feet right, and then yeah. you're like leaving your arms out, chicken wings. They call it. Like you have to keep your arms stiff. So just remember it all. Yeah. And then you get a little rhythm. I think. Got it. Yeah, exactly, and then you're getting yeah. it, and then you feel really motivated because yeah. they're like, Yes, you have it, you have it. Hoop, sh ah, yes, I finally got it. I think. <laughs> yeah. And you don't want to lose it then. Exactly, yeah. But uh, yeah, like it's that's, really good. That's why they do it at the beginning of the class to go through those type yeah. of things so that when we come into working the pads and stuff that 
you know we're, we're well and truly warmed up like yeah that's what it is like do you know that way and then like that you're ready for it just to like uh, for you to remember I suppose the technique yeah. from the last day yeah. they go through it and then you're ready to sort of do the pad work that's but uh, yeah it's cool and like that as you can see we're only like a couple of minutes into it <laughs> and I'm sweating so it's absolutely amazing cardio <laughs> punch yeah. Hoop. one two Hoop. nice yes yeah, well done Samantha Nice! Finally! Yeah. <laughs> oh my oh, god, nice. it looks easy but yeah. it's It takes really a bit not. of time <laughs> yeah. to perfect it. Yeah. Well done, that's great. Okay, here we go. Gloves are on. Gloves are on. Time for some pad work. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually sort of my favourite part. <laughs> when I've done all the technique, like it's obviously good doing the technique because you yeah. need to know that to do the pad work then. Yeah. But when you get really into this and they do all the calls and you're flying along with it, I love it. It's yeah. great. Shug, shug, pump. So, one, two. So, one, two, so, so, elbow, so, elbow, elbow, so, elbow, so, elbow, so, knee, so, yeah, the full combo, so, knee, so, pump, so, 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 again. Right, time for one more round <laughs> before we finish up. But uh, yeah, so I was basically just doing some pad work and then some kicks as well, which are quite <laughs> difficult. But I think I'm getting a little bit better at them. Yeah. The more you do with them again, as I said, like, you get more confident as well. Sure. Sometimes it's hard, you have to kick with your shin, and sometimes I find that I kick with my toe, yeah. and I'm like, oh God, and then I'm afraid <laughs> that I'm gonna break my toe. <laughs> I know you can actually get the foot straps as well, I don't know yeah. if that helps, but we're not using them at the moment, so hopefully I can just- Get the technique. Get the technique yeah. and actually kick with my shin. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, last round. Yep. Pump, so, pump, nice. so, one, two, so, so, one, two, so, so, get, so, one more, so, one more. Stop, pump, stop, kick, stop. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your oh, toe. Done. Finally finished. I'm tired now towards the end of that. I'm not going to lie. Oh, You're you have great energy. There. Yeah. You have like so much energy from the beginning, but by the end, then you're like, right. Yeah. Oh, so I better go and do my stretches now so I'm not too sore. Thank you. Have Thank a you. nice weekend, okay? You too. Good today, Enjoy tomorrow. Yeah. 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 You fight tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You, you fight tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> no. Shave me beard. <laughs> You're getting the ogre, didn't it? If you've seen a couple of minutes ago, one of our coaches said I was fighting tomorrow. You fight tomorrow, man. Yes. You, tomorrow. you fight tomorrow? You fight you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm fighting tomorrow. <laughs> Obviously, that was a joke. But another one of our coaches, Joe, is actually fighting in a local event not too far from the camp. And we were kindly invited along to see exactly what a local Muay Thai event is like. This promised to be one of the most authentic Thai experiences we could have. So, uh, over yeah. here. Bye bye. bye. Have a good night. <laughs> good time. Lovely, thank you. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, lovely. Thanks. <laughs> lovely, thank you. Are you all ready for your fight? Yeah, 50%. 50%. 50%. Oh, he's in the back. Come on. Because he's fighting in the front. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you can probably hear that in the background, we've actually arrived at the event. So two of our trainers are fighting tonight and they invited us to come along and just to get the local experience Check of it, it all. They're like the last two fights, I think, I think there's like seven fights there. I don't know actually how many on in total, yeah, yeah. but there's been a couple already. The whole experience is just, it's deadly, honestly. Yeah, it's really, so really cool. I mean, to see how local this thing is because we were only talking like we've seen a little bit of it in Bangkok but uh, it, it was great in Bangkok don't get me wrong but this is just so so authentic or something or so local it's like a yard behind us yeah. uh, in the middle of it is the is the ring and then there's some sort of street vendors or stalls around it so people can have like something to eat and a drink and stuff so there's a social element to it as well everybody is Thai me and Samantha are the only foreigners. <laughs> they take it so seriously, don't they? They, they really do, yeah. each other. It's great though, and the lads are actually from the camp are really looking after us. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they as well? Yeah. Like that. We're the only two foreign people here, yeah, that's how local yeah. it is. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, it's really is, but uh, on the way in as well, um, we got talking to one of the girls at the gate, she speaks really good English, mm. and she was telling us that, I was asking, is this like a weekly event? Yeah, yeah. And she said, uh, tonight is like a special event, so basically they charge, so there's tickets, a ticket fee on the way in, mm. and then they're collecting money to raise money for like a local uh, school to build dormitories oh, okay. in the village. That's so that's really cool. So we don't know how often, we, we actually, we're not too sure how often yeah, yeah, they, this they happen, goes yeah. on, yeah. but uh, it's, it's really cool. And yeah, I'm glad that we're, we're here I know, to experience get to see it. it. Well. And we were chatting to uh, to our coaches, uh, Boom and Joe, and like I was asking them, you? and they were quite calm in the car on the way here. And I was like, are you nervous? They were like, no, never. They're very, very confident. Boom was saying he's, he's, he's going to end in a first round knockout. Yeah. So his name is Boom, so I, I'm... I'm yeah. gonna believe him. I'm yeah. gonna believe him when he says he's gonna knock somebody out in one in one round. That's but yeah, we're interested to see uh, just exactly because they're coaching us and now to see them actually do it Fight, themselves. I know, yeah, yeah it's they're really, be... really, they're excellent coaches. Mm. All of them in the camp are, but like that, these are the only two, as far as I know, that, that are, are still fighting. fighting. Yeah, yeah. They think they usually give up around 29 to 30, uh, is what we've been told. And these mm. two, uh, it's Boom and Joe, and they're in their early 20s. So yeah, I'm excited to see them fight. I know, yeah. The fact that they're trying. And it's like, know, do you know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's gonna, gonna be really cool. It's gonna be really cool. So Joe is up now. Come on, Joe! We're on to ringside now. We've got to spin you around. Will he win? Will he win? I'm a little bit nervous for him. I obviously want him to win. Come on, Joe! 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 Come on, Jo
and just as Joe promised, he got his knockout. In part two. It's a little bit manic, a little bit hectic, a bit noisy. Please, please, <laughs> two fingers across. You have to go and take it. It's amazing when you see that clip of Samantha there, you can see that the, the power and the force in her punches and her knees now. Shut up, shut up. You get halfway and then you just kind of panic and you're like, you're just throwing any punch. Shut shut shut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it, we'll get it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do it again. Check out yourself. <laughs>